Back on a building top, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Nick. Once again, back continuing our adventure through the evil run of Detroit Become Human. Kind of nearing the end game by the Oh, shit, it's already started. <laughs> Talking away here. Could be reading some mags. All the way down. Can I read that, baby? What else we got here? We enjoying our time alone. I don't know what the point of that was, but okay. I do remember playing the piano last time. It gave us a flashback to, uh... When we met up with our master dude. I was wondering where you were. I needed to think. I like it here. I come here often. It's like being alone with the world. We freed hundreds of our people and they're still coming from all over the city. Those who dream of freedom come to Jericho. Something's changing. You seem preoccupied. Yesterday, when we set fire to that place, uh, all that chaos, the flames. In that moment, I enjoyed it. The power, the violence, and I hate myself for feeling that way. All the media are talking about what we did last night. The humans are terrified. They're afraid of a civil war. Many of our people were burned in response to what happened. The humans hate us. They'll never give us our freedom. It's too late to go back now. We have to finish what we started and just hope that reason prevails you haven't said much about yourself since you've been with us what was your life like before jericho show me yours and i'll show you mine who i was is not important what matters now is who i want to be <laughs> What about you? You never told me about your past. What did you do before? I don't want to talk about it. That android you were looking at in the store. She reminded you of who you were, didn't she? Oh. Why do you hate humans so much? There must be a reason. I told you, I don't want to talk about it. I was nothing. A doll in a distributor program to satisfy humans. Just a toy designed for their pleasure. She was a sex bot. One day I was with a man who rented me. And without knowing why, I realized I couldn't take it anymore. I strangled him and I ran away. 
there. Now you know everything. I shouldn't have told you. I guess the evil thing would have been not to connect, but... I couldn't help it. I couldn't help it. I, mean, I might not even have a choice there. That's okay. I... I saw your memories. Carl's house. When they left you for dead in his studio. I saw your memories too. The Eden Club. The, the death of that man. I felt like I was there with you. North. Maybe evil, but we're still gonna get some. Oh, right. This is suicide. We'll all be killed. Please, Marcus. It's not too late to change your mind. You don't understand. We're finally gonna show them who we really are. This place will go down in history. We'll be killed on the spot. That's a risk I'm prepared to take if it means freedom for our people. Marcus, please don't do this. They'll understand. We'll make them understand. This is the only way. There are androids here who could join us. The more we are, the stronger our message. Convert everyone. You're free now. You're free. Hey, baby. I want to go back to your place. Gosh, so you can start my fucking Android all night? Hey, baby. Androids. And they listen to everything. Come with us. Oh, I missed that guy. Where the hell are you? Missed you. You're free. You also have a baby face. Baby face. Here's how this is gonna end up now because there's a pretty big standoff near the end of this chapter. Time to stir shit. You're awake now. Uh, finally, I've been on hold for like ten minutes. Yes. You're free. You're free now. Hey! Where do you think you're going? You get back here! I need to block the street. I don't remember this. Open the manhole cover. Just 
coming out of the sewers like that. Did I miss anyone? Well, I don't know if I did. You know. Hey, it's Kara. You're free now. Converted you just by looking at you. March. March. Bust out of that window, dude. Everyone, come to me. Let my people go. Man, if only I could get people to like me just by staring at them. It's a handy trick. Wait, wait, where are you going? Jesus, the fucking Fist. Greg's with me now, lady. Get yourself a new Greg. I'll take that one too, actually. <laughs> hey! Disperse! Disperse immediately! No. Advance, bitch! Uh, I got a lot of androids down here. I don't know, hundreds. Set us free! They're marching! Yeah, they're marching down the street. came here to demonstrate peacefully and tell humans that we are living beings. All we want is to live free. This is an illegal gathering. Disperse immediately or we will open fire. We're not looking for confrontation. We've done no harm. We have no intention of doing any. But know that we are not going anywhere until we have secured our freedom. I repeat, this is an illegal gathering. If you do not disperse immediately, we will shoot. Marcus, they're gonna kill us. We have to attack. There's more of us, we can take them. If we attack, we'll start a war. We have to show them we're not violent. We should just stand our ground, even if it means dying here. This 
is your last chance. Disperse immediately, or you will all be killed. Attack! Don't do it, Marcus. Don't choose confrontation. Come from. Follow me. Talk to you. Operation Human Shield. Oh, shit. Did not expect that. We got an arc suit out to mixed up. Yeah, these things just come out of nowhere, dude. Get him! Give me that gun. Oh, shit. I actually got myself a gun. That would have been better. Man, they, they, they do not give you much time to do this. <laughs> the old pistol whip. Everything, the, the QTs are like, they're so shaky. Look at that, I'm slow as a turtle. Yeah. You're right. It's all right. It's just a flash. This is so epic. <laughs> Going in. Fall back. Yeah, you better fall back, bitch. Spray him down. Suck it. At least he died with a smile on his face. Man, we feel a lot of stuff. Well, we can. I'm willing to bet you could probably lose the fight here. That'd be part of the the stupid walkthrough. <laughs> Anyways, continuing on. I haven't visited this stone yet in a while. Of oh, a backdoor exit strategy.
No bueno. It's icy. After what happened today, the country is on the verge of a civil war. The machines are rising up against their masters. Humans have no choice but to destroy them. Kamsky told me how to find Jericho. I know where the deviants are hiding. You've done very well, Connor. Thanks to you, we now have a chance to stop the deviant revolution. Why did Kempsky leave Cyberlife? What happened? It's an old story, Connor. It doesn't pertain to your investigation. Did Kempsky design this place? He created the first version. It's been improved significantly since then. Why do you ask? I saw a photo of Amanda at Kempsky's place. She was his teacher. I expect you to find answers, Connor. Not ask questions. Have you experienced anything unusual recently? Any doubts or conflicts? Do you feel anything for these deviants? Or for Lieutenant Anderson? I don't know what you're talking about. I don't feel anything. You know that. Are you suggesting that I've been compromised? No. No, of course not. You're off the case. The FBI is taking over. What? But we're onto something. Wait, we just need more time, I'm sure we Hank, can... Hank, you don't get it. This isn't just another investigation. It's a fucking civil war. It's out of our hands now. We're talking about national security here. Fuck that. You can't just pull the plug now, not when we're so close. You're always saying you can't stand androids. Jesus, Hank, make up your mind. I thought you'd be happy about this. We're about to crack the case. I know we can solve it. For God's sake, Jeffrey, can't you back me up this one time? There's nothing I can do. You're back on homicide, and the android returns to cyber life. I'm sorry, Hank. But it's over. Hank, what are you doing? Something I should have done a long time ago. Listen, take a few days to think it over. There's no rush. I thought enough about it. I'm tired of going through the motions. There's nothing keeping me here. Not this case. Not my partner. I don't belong here anymore. This is the scene where we had to solve the puzzle. But just <laughs> start just cut to the end. What? <laughs> I see. Wow. Shortest case ever. Holy shit. That's a lot of stuff. Okay. Anyways. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Ooh, the scene. They've been conducting raids all over the city. Everybody's on edge after what happened yesterday. It's gonna be all right. We're almost there. Do, do, do.
Oh, wait. I thought this is a scene where we could possibly ditch Luther. Which I think we reached Jericho first, don't we? I don't even remember. The car is driving itself. The country is grinding to a halt. Hospitals and schools are closing. Water cuts, blackouts, and network failures are expected. Maybe most worrying of all, our armed forces have lost two-thirds of their effective personnel. How about some music instead? A little further on that way, there's a large freighter called Jericho. When you get there, find Marcus. He will help you. The last bus for the border leaves at midnight. You absolutely have to be on it. You'll be safer on the other side. It's not much, but it's a start. My brother lives in Ontario. I've given you his address. He'll be able to hide you until things calm down. You're a very brave little girl, Alice. You deserve to be happy. Thank you for everything, Rose. Let me know when you make it over there, all right? And be careful. Take care of them. Come on, girls. Nothing. Okay. Did not hang around. We have a bus to catch. Could have gave us a gun. That would have been nice. I think we just walk here, down here, and then the scene. Yeah. Okay. Oh, there's a nuke. What, what, oh man, what do you do with the nuke? What can you do? Nuke Detroit. Kind of want to let Marcus live just so that can happen. Because at this scene, they had the option of shooting him too, don't we? For my it's tucked in this corner over here. Here we go. You go here. Stay with her. I'll try to find this Marcus. The last bus is in two hours. And the terminal's on the other side of town. We haven't got much time. We'll leave as soon as we have passports. Carol, there's something I have to tell you. It's about Alice. We'll have lots of time to talk on the bus. I'll be back. Stay with Alice. <laughs> there was a veritable ground swell of violence in Detroit this morning. Several hundred androids took their 
Look at this place. Got some bombs. the way lady being turned over to the authorities the country is grinding to a halt hospitals and schools are closing we've got to do something we can't just stand by are expected maybe have to go all the way around to read this magazine have lost two-thirds of their effective personnel which consisted of specialized android models the situation is they'll kill us all if we don't do something it's them or us we gotta destroy these bastards before they kill all of us we soaked the thing and then we torched it I mean, to think this fucker was watching over my kids. I guess they, they rushed the police. Only available during. I don't remember that. I don't monsters. know. Following the Android crisis and the neutralization. Oh, it's printing. You're lost. You're looking for something. You're looking for yourself. How do you know me like that? How do you know my soul? Marcus. Are you Marcus? I'm with a little girl and another android. There's a bus leaving for the border in less than two hours, and we need passports. No, Detroit's under curfew. There's soldiers everywhere. They're rounding up all the androids and sending them to camps. Maybe you should stay here a while. Maybe you're right. You might be safer here until things calm down. One of our people used to work in the State Department. He has electronic passports you can easily modify. I'll have him get them to you. Thank you. You said you're with a little girl, right? You know that humans hate us. Why are you protecting her? I don't care whether she's human or android. She's just someone who matters to me. Go back down. And now we get the rest of the truth here.
time to make a decision. What type of person do I want to be? bitch but you know <laughs> that drop short on blue blood and bio components. Our wounded are shutting down and there's nothing we can do. Humans are conducting raids in all the big cities and they're taking androids to camps to destroy them. It's all our fault. None of this would have happened if we just stayed quiet. Shoot them. The only thing we asked for was freedom. And they don't even want to hear that. So now they punish us for who we are. It was a peaceful march, and you chose to attack. Now hundreds of humans and androids are dead. You reap what you sow. Shoot them! You keep complaining. What have you done exactly, Josh? At least I fought for us. At least if I die, I die free. This is getting us nowhere. He's right. All that matters now is what we do next. Marcus? We have to face them. There's no other choice. This is insanity. Get all the guns that you can find. We're going to free Detroit. You're making a mistake, Marcus. You won't buy our freedom with blood. Give me the nuke. Give it to me. Humans can't be reasoned with. They're violent. Hateful. They're stupid. What do they expect us to do? Shut up and obey? They can't stop what we've started. Since you've been here, you've given us hope. You've given me hope. Today, a deviant arrived in Jericho and he told me that he stole a truck transporting radioactive cobalt. <laughs> he said that he abandoned the truck somewhere in Detroit and rigged it to explode. Convinced him not to do it. To give me the detonator. A dirty ball. We can't lose this war, Marcus. If humans overcome us, our people will disappear forever. This may be our only chance to survive if things go wrong. Yeah! Danuk! I just hope we never have to use it. Don't say that. Don't say that. Whatever happens tomorrow, I just want you to know that I... I'm glad I met you. Don't do it. Next few hours would be crucial. You always keep them wanting more.
done, Connor. You succeeded in locating Jericho and finding their leader. Now deal with Marcus. We need it alive. Alive? You're asking a lot, lady. I've been ordered to take you alive. But I won't hesitate to shoot if you give me no choice. We are thousands, and you are alone. If you kill me, you are not walking out of here alive. Don't force me to neutralize you. You're Connor, aren't you? That famous deviant hunter. Well, congratulations. You seem to have found what you were looking for. Our cause is righteous and we are more than what they say. All we want is to live in freedom. You really don't have to do this. You don't have to obey them anymore. You are alive. You can decide who you want to be. No. You can be free. He's doing those Jedi mind tricks. Have you never wondered who you really are? Whether you're just a machine executing a program or a living being. Capable of reason. I think the time has come for you to ask yourself that question. It's time to decide. I have no choice. <laughs> nice try. But I'm no deviant. Oh. Oh, I still get to blow up Detroit. What's going on, Karen? Quick, we've got to get out of here. Thing. They're coming from all sides. Our people are trapped in the hold. They're going to be slaughtered. We have to blow up Jericho. If the ship goes down, they'll evacuate and our people can escape. You'll never make it. The explosives are all the way down in the hold. There are soldiers everywhere. Go and help the others. I'll join you later. Marcus. I won't be long. Go! Child. Gotta get the boom booms. This is the end of Jericho. Save our people, Marcus. Oh, fuck that, 
Gonna do Marcus. What you gonna do? Oh yeah, how's this gonna play out? It's too late now. Save yourself. Save Alice. No, we're not gonna leave you behind. Right, Carl? We can't leave him. Bye. Go. What are you doing? They're going to kill him. We have no choice. Oh, dang. Uh, Felt kind of sick making that decision, but They're coming. We've got to go. Hurry! Alice, if we don't get out of here now, they're going to kill us too. Ah. Nope, nope. Why would you just stay in here? Well, I guess it's gonna get blown up, right? So. Maybe not. There was nothing we could do. You have to go. Don't move. Don't shoot. I'm on your side. With us? Are you a human? Attack! Always get that mixed up. Can't help you, man. Gamma squad out. Turn go. Jump, baby, jump. How we do? Look out! Here they come! Don't move! We surrender! We surrender! Don't shoot! Keep going! Keep going! Keep going! Josh! Josh, I gotta die! <laughs> we are way past that, man. Over there! Oh, yeah. We're safe, Alice. Run! Stop. 
Okay, I'm gonna surrender this time. Let me see what happens. Played. Go join the others. I played dead last time. I just want to see what happens. It's just. is to neutralize you and I always accomplish my mission. And my mission is to save our species. Looks like only one of us can succeed. That sucks. Yeah. I can kill Connor. Oh my god. <laughs> I didn't want this. How many? We'll meet again, Marcus. This isn't over. Number four. Numero number four. It's gonna explode any second. We gotta get out of here. I think there's a fight scene coming up here, right? Uh. My north! an explosive in the hole. The ship is sinking, sir. The men to evacuate. Calling all units. Abandon ship and evacuate immediately. It's an over, Marcus. Jesus. So much stuff. So is that it? If we just get captured? Is that it? Yeah. Okay. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. I think that'll be it for the episode. Solid, almost solid hour. I don't think we have enough time to uh, go again. So, thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed. As always, if you enjoyed, thumbs up, appreciate it. And I'll see you guys next time for some more Detroit Become Human, alright? As always, have a wonderful day.